Oh, hi everyone and welcome back to the Sensational Lifestyle by Heidi. So for this channel, we will be talking about the incoming, ongoing and new release product and perfume review. So without further ado, let's just move on. So hi everyone, so for today, we'll be talking about the 8 best vanilla fragrance for men that are different from usual. So, so for our first vanilla fragrance, which is the Pecker Band Pure Excess. Um, this perfume has been described as an oriental type of scent and with the notes like um, this ginger, chimes and overflow like a mouth watering spicy type of perfume that when you try down it will smell like the woody nose with the twist of vanilla and this is the one that catches the attentions of a little bit spicy but at the same time with the sweetness of this combination so makes you a little bit sweet letter it that make it this perfume sweet naughty but masculine time that so let's just move on for our second vanilla fragrance which is kind of perfume that always talk this is a uh, Jean Paul Gaultier is Gaultier second so as I can tell you I have this Jean Paul Gaultier that I was really in love that every time I try to buy this ladies and ladies especially to the ladies the label they are sold out so every time that it comes back I don't have the budget for that that I'm not prioritizing this type of perfume I mean not that's because I don't love it but because I don't have the budget for it so but as all I know Jinfo has the reputations itself that they have very wonderful type of perfume very long last and very very good type brand of perfume same as the Guerlain itself so let's just move on with this type of perfume that's a gold here too this is a unisex type of perfume um, from John Paul Gaultier that was launched on 2005 and the behind the nose of this fragrance is Francis Gordier so that's all we know Francis is a very famous type of perfumery that everyone will love to meet including me so I'm not surprised that this is perfume is a very trademark very sold out all the time always uh, it's very famous um, I researched for this and I keep looking for the brand itself and they are sold out all the time so this is the third time that I tried to buy this because this is a um, this is a unisex and I wanted to have it or I wanted to try it for the blind buy but it is sold out this is a perfume that was described as a masterpiece of a warm vanilla scent that makes you fall in love with it and i read this review for i think 1000 plus that everyone say they were in love with this perfume i haven't seen any type of critics for this type of perfume that has a negative feedback so it is this as you call it elegant fresh persons but the scent is a very creamy with the suburb longevity as always at the John Paul Gaultier trademark with the similarity of Altimir and if you have this instead Lapidus if you have this type of perfume let me know please comment down down the box and let me know what the side effect for you for this type of um, perfume and how long it long lasts but yes that's what I can recommend and it's hard to say that this is very rare type of perfume that's how hard to get it that I'm very interesting to have it so it is good for winter because of the vanilla itself that's the main character in the perfume and it long lasts for six an hour six to eight hours for the other people's review and a special event I think because they say this is very expensive that costs four to six hundred dollars AUD that's worth it for the money for the special event and this is for the 30 years old to 50 years old for men and women so, so for our third vanilla perfume for men which is the tobacco vanilla by Tomford so I was in Myers at the time when I bought my Tiffany and collab when I just passed by and I saw this tobacco vanilla 
from Tom Ford and I sniff it this is a kind of perfume that is just like it's a very oriental type of perfume but primarily the two notes of tobacco and vanilla is the host of the perfume and it just for me this is a little bit spice and when it's just dried down that tonka bean and the tobacco um contribute the perfume itself it's just like a little bit masculine self and a little bit um bittersweet type of perfume then the cacao and vanilla notes make the perfume sense opulent and a little bit sophisticated that i will just suggest it to you ladies and gentlemen that um spray this with to spray because it's a very potent type of perfume when I spray it that in Myers it's really hit me this Tom Ford's make a very good concentrated type of perfume even though this is 400 something but the concentration of the perfume is long last this is a type of when it's dry down the fruits of that makes Sabeco makes a little bit sweetness because of the dried fruit the longevity itself is six to ten hours or six to eight hours it's best for wear for special occasions or a special event party a nightclub that it's just like you never have to worry you don't need to worry that you have to top it up or you spray it especially for the men who doesn't like to bring curse or something for themselves this is good for them because of the longevity and because this is attention seeker and it's really masculine type of perfume but at the same time sophisticated for men that you will turn your head and look and you will think who's that person who just walk around with that you will be intrigued because of this type of perfume that they have so this is good for I think 25 to, 30, to 50 years old because it's captured this type of ages so that's all I can say with this tobacco vanilla that's every man not everyone but generally man loves it so for our fourth type of vanilla perfume which is the surge gluten dosh amere so i smell this this is means a bittersweet in french the dosh amere itself so it's just like a balance of bitter and sweet type of perfume that i definitely will bring back to the memories of my childhood that the smells of when you are in um, a danger beating sip of cinnamon uh, like especially when you smell the cinnamon itself it goes to your nose it's trigger your olfactory system giving you directly heat of cinnamon that's the way that it is this vanilla surge luten dosh amore can contribute but at the same time because of this jasmine um sandbag and tiara flower for feminine type contributions it makes this surge luten um dosh amari a little bit carmen's type of perfume but the main character of this perfume is a vanilla scent which is smells like turned out to be a vanilla dessert cake it's more creamier that makes you feel like they wanted to bite you so that's what i can say that this type of surge luten is like sophisticated bitter sweet type of perfume so if you like this gentlemen grab one the surge luten and i know i have one of surge luten perfume and i do love it i adore surge luten so for our fifth type of vanilla perfume for men which is the vanilla picante by Arabio toscano this is a type of perfume that is a very unisex with a prominent type of vanilla and caramel so when i heard this vanilla vaniglia how do you pronounce it it's just like how stupid me like it's pronounced vaniglia um it's just like make it makes me think that how what is this type of perfume is it like a um frosted type of perfume or it's just like the one that i always ordered in mcdonald's that it's just like shake vanilla shake with the caramel on top or or a type of shakes 
and Starbucks that makes you feel like you want it to smell it, do you want it to smell it or you want it to drink it all the time but this is a type of sweet ball, the perfect type of flower that coming from the peach and when it turned down to the powdery because of the white for winter weather that when it dry down there's a eucalyptus in here that make it the cooler a little bit type and with a twist of slight of tanginess and juiciness because of the peach blossom so this is a type of perfume that is a little bit powdery when it dry down and um, from the first spray there's this vanilla and caramel combinations that makes you want it to drink it all the time sophisticated creamier type of perfume that has a longevity of four to six hours and still age of two to four spray and i think i can recommend this for 20 to 30, 30 20 to 50 years old and for winter because of the warm and the eucalyptus itself you can wear this for winter and for summer coolness and a little bit tanginess of this fragrance that makes you feel fresh and at the same time sophisticated so for our six vanilla fragrance for men which is a tasmi man narsasi so this is just type of cologne that's coming from the perfume of house of uae so this is a type of perfume that's a very unusual play of notes of mixing of the spice accord so as all we know spicy product is a part of the uae brand or is part of the uae life they do love spice they always have spice in their food that I love it to smell and when they're cooking they always have a spice. This type of spice accord and balsamic tones that makes their feel like a wonderful clone that become oriental spicy fragrance for men and with a touch of sweet artemisia um, and rose and orange it makes the perfume itself smoothly but the main characters of this perfume is vanilla that is the most prominent scent and become lighter once it dry down also because of the touch of the sandalwoods there's a smells of this type of perfume that makes perfect for the vanilla lover for a sweet bit of kick of spice that will makes you feel a masculation mask that makes you feel that a little bit masculine and rockstar type of persons so for our last type of vanilla perfume for men which is the mason margiela replica by the fireplace so ladies and gentlemen i do have the mason margiela which is the coffee break and i do love it i'm in love with this type of brand of perfume this is a type of perfume that's woody and it's also a unisex type of fragrance that will be appealing to those who like a gourmand yes ladies and gentlemen it's a sense reminds me it smells of a little bit of marshmallow that under the fireside says of from the um but and body works exactly it's like for me i can describe this like a marshmallow when you um how do you say that if i can describe this like when you're on the firewoods and you're roasting the marshmallow and that's all i just can say that the smoky sense of this marshmallow is the one with this opening of firewood that's ah oh, as a cold when it dry down the smells of vanilla itself that makes the perfume smells warm and inviting the perfect type of winter seasons like this one so if you are a lover of perfume that you are imagining yourself sitting by the fireplace of firewood while you're drinking red wine and feel so cozy and relaxing this is a type of perfume for you gentlemen and ladies because this is a type of perfume that's a very very good type brand of perfume especially now that i have it a mason margiela 
I can recommend you this type of perfume and this is one of my list right now that I would love to have it in my collections I hope you like this type of review so if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel click the bell button so you will be updated to my Saturday and Sunday video uploads so if you enjoyed this type of review please don't forget to comment share and like this type of review so i hope you have a very wonderful day and night have a great day guys and bye for now see you guys